Hey there, this is David Tercivi again, and I've got just a quick tip for you today. Today we're going to be talking about optimized media. So this is a great way to get resolved to run a little bit faster if you're running into problems or if uh, you're working especially with ultra-high resolution media or um, possibly if you're working off slower drive and don't have the access to either a fast RAID or if you're working off an SSD cache. What optimized media does is it takes whatever files you load into Resolve and creates a new version of the files that while maintaining the original file quality will run a lot faster for you within Resolve. So let's take a look at a project where this came in handy for me. This is a video for Tamar Braxton. Uh, just came out, it's called Angels and Demons. It's a great video, you should check it out. Really beautiful, Tamar looks lovely. and. Um, they shot this on Aerial Alexa at ProRes 4x4, um, and uh, almost entirely on 4K. So some parts they shot at the standard 2K, uh, and uh, some parts were up internally in camera to 4K. It's a really beautiful image, it's extremely sharp as you can see here, but the data rates are huge. ProRes 4x4 4K is over a gigabyte a second. And I'm running off a pretty quick 8 bay RAID here that's attached via Thunderbolt, and even in the best case scenario, my RAID only gets about 900 megabytes a second, and that's with an empty RAID. Considering the RAID is about half full, I can consistently pull 500 to 600 megabytes a second, which is more than enough to work with 4x4 1080 media, but this 4K file can stress the RAID. And so even though the rest of the system is more than fast enough to play it, with the dual titans and uh, all the extra cores, the media itself isn't able to be fed quickly enough to the resolve in order to handle it, and so you get playback that looks like this. But if you go use optimized media and reduce the resolution down to your 1080p working timeline, then you can get playback like this. And that's the full 24p. So these are the same exact resolution files, but working off the optimized media. And you can see we're quickly working in a lot more manageable space. So let's talk about how to do this real quick. Now if you navigate over to your media tab, which you can't see unfortunately because I've sized this down to 1080p, you can see all of the bins for your project with all the media that you're using. Now I've gone ahead and organized this project to have 1080p footage in this master bin, the 4K footage in this other bin, and an offline reference over in this bin. But let's go back to the 4K. So all this media here is 4K and needs to be optimized in order to run quickly in our 1080 timeline. The process of optimizing this media is extremely simple but can be time consuming. So it's best to plan ahead and leave some time for rendering before you dig into the color. To optimize media, it's really quite simple. All you need to do is click on a clip, right click it, and click Generate Optimized Media. I'm not going to click it right now, but as soon as you do that, you'll see a pop-up that'll start digging through and eventually get to 100%, meaning that the new media has been created. But there's a couple of things you want to check first to ensure you're generating properly optimized media for your project. So let's go take a look at the preferences. You click the gear icon in the bottom right, which again is cut off. Uh, it'll open up the project settings. And there's a couple of different things you want to take a look at. First, you want to navigate down to General Options. Here you can set your cache folder. I've got it on my RAID. So you click on cache, set this, and now this is where all the new optimized media is going to be playing off of. It's best to do this on a fast drive, either a RAID or an SSD if you have one internally for scratch, or if that's not an option, then a fast USB 3 or eSATA drive. Now in the same general options folder, you'll also find the settings to set your optimized media. Over here you'll see two things, resolution and format. The resolution is pretty self-explanatory. Original keeps the resolution the same and allows you to change the format to something with a little bit lower bitrate, so you have more bandwidth to work with. Half cuts the resolution in half, so a 4K file now becomes 1080p. What this means is that a file with a resolution of around 4096 now has a resolution of about 2048. This total file has a quarter of the actual resolution, but the measured resolution is half. So this means files take roughly a quarter of the space despite the half resolution. Quarter is closer to 720p off a 4K source, and so on and so forth. You can also set Choose Automatically, which will set a size close to whatever timeline you're working in. In this case, I'm working in a 1080p timeline because that's the delivery spec. So Choose Automatically will use a half size resolution in order to get me close to that 1080p working space. I'll go ahead and leave this on half for now. Now your format is the next thing. You can work with uncompressed files, which are large but play easily. So this is great for small resolution projects that have slow CPUs and other processing. You can also work with the more compressed DNxHR formats, which are a little bit more processing intensive, but greatly reduce your file size. Now, since I'm working in a 4x4 space, I elected to use the DNxHR 4x4. Because the resolution reduction by itself gets me well within my bandwidth needs, I can retain the luxury of working in a 4x4 space. 
This also allows me to render off these DNxHR optimized files to get a little bit faster render speed if I should so choose. You can always choose a lower quality if that's what you need to do to get the timeline playing smoothly. Once you've set these options, you're all set to generate optimized media, so let's click save here. Let's take a look at our timeline. This clip right here is not playing back well. Well, this one that I've already optimized is. So let's go optimize this media. We return to our media tab, select the clip in question, scrub through just to make sure this is the correct one, and it definitely is. Right click the clip, and select generate optimized media. While Resolve is generating optimized media, you can't do anything else, and you'll hear your CPUs and GPUs working in order to get this generated as quickly as possible. You can select more than one clip at a time in order to generate optimized media for all these clips, but be prepared to wait a while. Optimized media treats the entire clip, which is great for adjusting the lengths of shots, but means you might be waiting a long time to render. Generating optimized media is a great excuse to go do something else, or to let the software run overnight. Okay, looks like it's finishing up, and it's done. So let's go check our timeline, and uh, let's press play. Look at that. It runs perfectly just off that one optimized media. No complaints, 24 frames per second, and we're in business. Now if for some reason you decide you don't want to preview with the optimized media on, it's a very simple thing, you just go up to playback, and uh, you uncheck this use optimized media if available option. So we uncheck that and we press play, and we're back to our slow playing. Let's turn it back on. Once you're done with your project, if you want to clean up these files and just keep the main files around for reference if you need to rerun a clip out or something, you can easily go to playback, delete optimized media, and all your optimized media will be cleared in order to free up drive space. In the delivery menu, you have the option of rendering with optimized media. If we expand the file option with the more options button, we can scroll down and see there's a checkbox on whether or not we want to use optimized media. In this case, since I was working off such high quality optimized media, I might find it beneficial to render with it. But if you're working with a lower bit rate or something that might impact the final quality, it's best to turn this off and just endure the longer render time. And that's it for optimized media. It's a great way to speed up resolve when you're working with limited equipment or with high resolution and high bit rate timelines. This is David Tercivia. Thanks for watching.